Well, hello, New Hope. Hope you're doing very well today. About a half my lifetime ago, my grandmother passed away, and I flew to Louisiana to preach her funeral. After landing, I rented a car and stopped at uh, the Golden Arches, of course. And, uh, well, I had to have a Big Mac, an order of fries, and, of course, a Diet Coke. I used to be able to eat like that. And as I was savoring the two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onion on a sesame seed bun, I noticed a fellow who had just walked in. And I could tell that he was a, a deep thinker. It was a combination of things. The first clue was the way he had his pack of cigarettes rolled up in the sleeve of his T-shirt. And the second clue was the bit of philosophy written on the front of that t-shirt. It said, life is short, then you die. And actually, he wasn't really far off from what Job had to say. In Job chapter 14, verse 1, he said, man that is born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. I'd like to take a closer look at that statement from Job. First of all, he said, man that is born of woman, and so already we've, we've found the problem. Man that is born of woman. Now, man, but ladies are also included. Anyone born of woman, which is pretty much 100% of us. Anyone born of woman is flawed and fallen. This is the problem. The great philosopher Pogo said, we have seen the enemy and he is us. Yes, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have gone astray. There is none righteous, no, not one. Just telling you what the Bible says. So man that is born a woman is of few days. It doesn't really matter how long we live compared to eternity. It's just a few days. In the very next verse, Job says, Man springs up like a flower and withers away. Like a fleeting shadow, he does not endure. The Bible also compares a man's life to a vapor, a mist, an arrow that quickly shoots through the sky. So man that is born of woman is a few days. And then Job adds, and full of trouble. So this is kind of getting worse by the moment, isn't it? Well, let me ask you, has 2020 been full of trouble? As I often say, when I think of one an argument with my wife, I rest my case. And by the way, just because you think you've won an argument with your spouse doesn't mean you've won anything. Well, thanks, preacher, for the good news today. Thanks for reminding us that we're all sinners. Thanks for reminding us that life is short and full of trouble. Thanks a lot. Ah, but there is good news. You see, this is not all there is. The same Job looks beyond this life. In chapter 19, he gives us these beautiful words. I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, when all of this is over, when the flower has withered, when the shadow has fled, when the few days have ended, I will see God. I myself, he said, will see God with my own eyes. I, and not another, how my heart yearns within me. Now that's good news. Now you can thank me.